today we're gonna talk about some awesome free tutorials on YouTube that will help you learn how to create great projects in Blender. These projects vary from cinematic animations, grease pencil stuff, modeling concepts, simulation tutorials and much more. If you want to learn how to model, rig and animate robotic arms in Blender, Polyfjord YouTube channel has released a 20 minute tutorial breaking down the process from start to finish. This tutorial has almost 27 million views on YouTube so far, so I'm sure it has already recommended it to you, but we're gonna talk about it anyways. First, you will start by modeling the joint segments and creating the arm shape. After that, you will learn a little bit about rigging and how to set up an inverse kinematic rig in Blender. Also, you will model the claw attached to the robotic arm. Next, you will visit the Mexamo and download one of the many motion captured animated characters and offers. Then import it to Blender and attach the robotic arms to the model. This is a great tutorial if you want to learn about modeling, animation or rigging because it is really easy and straightforward. As Bjorn is a great teacher because he will break down the concepts in simple terms. And on a more general note, his YouTube channel overall is a great resource if you want to learn more about Blender. Also, Nathan from Deki 3 d YouTube channel released a 12-minute tutorial on how to create a sci-fi abstract model using geometry nodes in Blender. If you are not really experienced with geometry nodes and you want to get into it, this tutorial is extremely useful and beginner-friendly. He will walk you through the whole process, from setting up your scene to creating the geometry nodes tree. And he will finish by talking about materials and how to light your scene, in addition to posing the camera and doing the final render. Decoded on YouTube also released a video breakdown of his short animation called Awakening the Old God. If you want to learn more about the process he used to create some of these shots in this video, you will at least learn a few things. This is not an actual tutorial, but an overview of some of the techniques and methods he used. You will first see how he created the landscape and his establishing shots, and how he incorporated 3D scans in his project, like the mountains and the cathedral. The short film is divided into 13 shots. The first establishing shot is a wide shot of the valley and the mountains with the cathedral looming in the distance. The interior shots include some character and cloth animation with a huge monster encounter at the end. Throughout the video, the instructor will talk about some of the tricks he used to achieve some of the effects regardless of Blender's limitations, especially when it comes to cloth simulation. Next, you will see how you can create the new caustic effects. There is actually a lot of information about modeling, shading, texturing, and sculpting. This video is all around nice to watch if you want to see the whole process and what it takes to create a short animation in Blender. Next, we have a 2D and 3D hybrid grease pencil animation breakdown. You can take a peek behind the scenes and learn how Andy aka Dibuz on YouTube created the stunning stylized grease pencil animations. In this 20 minute video, Andy breaks down one scene from his project, the rooftop scene. He will go in depth on how to assemble all the elements on top of each other and how to incorporate the grease pencil drawings into your scene, showing you a few tricks along the way. As we all know, the grease pencil tool has come a long way in the last few versions of Blender, and it is always mind blowing to see how artists can use it to craft really stunning artworks and animations. In this video, you will also see how you can animate your grease pencil object by using different techniques such as traditional rigging, but also the lattice technique, which is a way to deform and wrap your 2D or 3D objects in real time. Also, he will touch a little bit on shading and how to make your own tune shaders, and at the end, he will even provide some bonus tips for beginners. While this one is not a tutorial in the traditional sense, it is an interesting take on the way we model stuff. Our most read YouTube channel released a 17 minutes video discussing the importance of high poly modeling and why you shouldn't be afraid of it. He argued that it is better and it makes more sense to start modeling from a high poly mesh because it would be a lot easier to add details once you apply the subdivision to your mesh. Throughout the video, he will try to demonstrate some of the advantages of the high poly approach in both Max and Blender. And I guess everyone watching the video will be like, it's not that we are afraid of high poly modeling, we are afraid of turning the high poly model into an optimized low poly after that. Which is true to some extent, but nevertheless, you will learn a few things from this video. 
You can also create a quick class simulation in Blender 3 with John Dre from Pixel 3D YouTube channel. In this motion capture class simulation tutorial, you will see how you can use Mixamo to download an animated character, import it to Blender, create the clothes mesh from the base mesh, and apply cloth simulation on top of it. Along the way, you will see some tips and tricks about UV editing, cloth setting, lighting, cameras, and even some shader nodes and motion blur. At the end, you will learn how to render the whole thing. Also, Josh Gambra on YouTube released a video tutorial explaining how to optimize your UV wrapping process, specifically how you can best utilize and pack your UV maps. You can do this to get the best out of your UV space, and it all comes down to trying to straighten as many UV islands as possible before packing everything. This will help you optimize your texture resolution and not waste any UV space. You can also learn how to make an eye-pleasing motion graphic animation using the cloth modifier in Blender. 3D Skull channel released a short fun video explaining how to create this cloth simulation in Blender. You will learn how to set up and light your scene, add matching colors to your materials and so on and so forth. If you have ever seen those nanotechnology suit up animations in movies such as Avengers, then Halifax Learn on YouTube released a 13 minute video explaining how you can achieve similar effects using geometry nodes in Blender. Combining two of his previous tutorials, which are creating procedural hexagon shield and Spider-Man No Way Home tutorial, you will be suiting Spider-Man with nanotechnology. By using the geometry nodes approach, you will layer multiple layers on top of each other, creating a mask for the geometry and using the noise texture to procedurally rough out the edges and reveal the mesh. This is a great tutorial for intermediate Blender users and people who want to get into the geometry nodes field. Also, Rescan on YouTube recently dropped another tutorial on how to create a sci-fi hanger in Blender. First off, before doing anything, you will start by blocking out your scene as usual and setting up your composition. Next, you will go through adding details throughout all the scene. The instructor will explain everything and how you can model the different details and objects such as air vents, panels, walkways, and pipes. Next, you will see how to apply materials and set up lighting for your scene, in addition to finishing everything by doing some post-processing in Photoshop. This is a great tutorial because it allows you to see that you don't need too much geometry and intricate modeling techniques to achieve great renders or create a nice artwork. You can also learn how to make the satisfying dissolve animation in Blender. Steve from the CG Kick channel on YouTube will explain in detail how you can achieve this effect by using fluid and smoke simulations all within Blender 3. You will start by setting up and animating the different elements in the scene. Next, you will dive into fluid and smoke simulations in addition to how you can achieve the desired result by tweaking some of the default settings. Finally, you will finish everything with some texturing and compositing. And this 20 minute tutorial is great for people who want to learn about fluid simulations in Blender. You can also learn how to make a stylized mushroom in Blender. With the Polyground Runway YouTube channel, this quick and easy tutorial will walk you through the process of modeling and shading a couple of mushrooms by using basic modeling, subdivision, and 3D painting techniques. He will also discuss some of the lighting techniques that can make a model pop and make it pleasing for the eye. Also, if you want to create an amazing procedurally generated animation of a fish in the water using only geometry nodes, you are in the right place. This tutorial is a bit advanced, but the usage of the techniques shown in this video can be used on any procedurally generated animation. By manipulating some of the model properties such as displacement, location, rotation, and scale, and with the help of some magic through using geometry nodes, the dynamic fish animation can look so believable. Pierrick from P2 Design Academy released a 16 video tutorial explaining and detailing all the principles of animation and the meaning of the technical terms when working with animation in Blender, and of course other animation software too. This is a collection of all the terms that you always hear and you might come across when reading or learning about animation in different mediums, terms such as key poses, in betweening, blocking stage, arc, smear and multiples, and all the animation jargon that you might come across. Pierrick is a Blender Foundation certified trainer and a CG director. You probably have come across his work before because he created some iconic animations and some of the great courses you can find about Blender animation. 
You can also learn how to create realistic destruction animation in Blender with Granite Films on YouTube. In this video, you're gonna learn how to create this epic destruction sequence. First of all, you will fracture your ground plan, simulate the destruction movements, in addition to adding some debris and particles. You will also learn how to add simulated smoke at the end to give it a bit of realism. This is a great tutorial on how to create this type of animation in Blender without using external tools. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.